Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You're gonna have to excuse this huge pimple in the middle of my nose. It is what it is, it'll be there all day. We are coming, we are coming to you live from the home of the cheese curds, the Packers, Bratwurst, pretty sure the guys that invented road sodas. We are coming to you from Hub City, Wisconsin, which little known fact, Hub City, I was thinking like, oh, it's like a central hub. Actually, this is where they used to build wagon wheel hubs back in the 1800s. But we are back here for this crazy $20,000 total payout uh, diesel truck challenge put on by Riley. He's a local here of Hub City, Wisconsin. And we're gonna get you guys as much footage as we can. We have the Superflow Dyno. That means we're gonna see Cody and Elmer again. It's basically the UCC Dyno. And we have quite a few classes of dirt drags. Again, just like last year, I am by myself. So filming may or may not be ideal for getting our runs, but I hope to bring you guys some action, maybe a couple of driver interviews. Let's go ahead and get to the live action. All right, guys, so this is the man with the plan, the guy that puts on this craziness, keeps us all organized. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hey, everybody, I'm Riley uh, Anderson. I'm the event coordinator for the Hub City Dirt Drags here in Hub City, Wisconsin. Um, we're happy to have Josh here, along with all these other guys. And you used the word organized. I don't know if we're organized. Oh, I wasn't bad last year. Come on now, give yourself <laughs> no, some credit. I mean, it, we do the best that we can. Um, I feel that we got all volunteer help here. Everybody does a great job. Um, Unfortunately, this year Mother Nature's played a tough role in for us, but we prepared for it. We've covered the track out there. And Track's covered, probably pretty dry in there. Oh yeah. And uh, just as competitors, I know the guys that put on the events, the organizers and stuff, they don't get the credit. I just wanted to give you a little FaceTime, appreciate you guys and what you do. And then you're doing this again next year, right? Yeah, dude, next year we're planning another another event. Next October will be the Diesel Truck Challenge. We kind of do it the second weekend in October every year. Okay, so put it in your calendar, guys. Rain yeah. or shine, this man will put on the event. There was a lot of questions. Riley was like, come on out, we're making it happen. Yeah, we're gonna so. make it happen, and the payouts are huge. I mean, we like to pay out, you know, first place is good, and then all the way down the line, we pay all the way back to eighth place. Eighth so. place is entry fee money. Yeah. So guys, like, that means there's 33 trucks? There's 33 trucks today, yep. 33 trucks, so that means you almost have a 25% chance of at least getting your money back. And uh, we just really appreciate Riley. He got the Superflow Dyno out. A lot of people were complaining last year about the Dyno. He went out and got, I would say, the industry standard or accepted. So it's gonna be a great day today. I hope you guys are either here and you're gonna watch this and laugh, or you guys will be here next year. We really appreciate them. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Josh. No problem. Guys, we're coming to you live from the cockpit of Mr. Cody Lambert, hashtag 12 valve Lambo here. Alright, uh, this is the nitrous hit, guys.
there she is. A lot better. Guys, we are about three away. Uh, we're dino in the last, putting our hot shot secret R82 special sauce in the fuel. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, we kind of, I don't know if we have enough to beat Austin. Uh, Dino's kind of reading uh, a little stingy, uh, I would say, in, in my professional opinion. However, uh, no excuse. We're going to give it our best shot, but we changed some jets around and we got a 187 in kit one. We have a 136 in kit two and a 99 in kit three. And we'll see if that's enough. We're up. We got our nitrous loaded, tune up loaded. Hopefully it goes well. We'll see. Tough field to get around. So 1589, we beat Austin Denny by nine horsepower. We were estimating about 1600 to the tire. I'm really liking that we're starting to understand nitrous in, fuel in equals X amount of horsepower. Again, these are only 250% overs. I do not recommend stretching them this far, but that's how far we had to go to win the dyno. I just know we're really weak on dirt drag. So I wanted to get ahead of some people uh, with the dyno score. So. I'm really happy with that. We are loading in our drag race tune-up. We have like a 1,200, 14, 1,600 horsepower tune-ups on here. Big thank you to Mitch and all his guys at Driftless. They got us swapped over. We're going to run Graps in the rear. STS is in the front because, honestly, that's that's all we brought. So we got that done. Sled stops pulled out. Got the truck emptied out. And Riley has this event just running like a sewing machine today. Really, really awesome. Everything's cleaned out. We'll get this tune-up loaded. Nitrous is fixed and uh, we should be ready to go some rounds and dirt tracks. I'm really happy guys So we're working we're working with the best weather conditions So we got a pretty sketchy shutdown, but it is pretty dry all through here and then they did the best It's very tacky and then Riley made the right call shorten the track 50 feet again rain or shine He's doing the best he can so uh, All you guys that are curious about this like everyone's got a race on it. Is it ideal? No, did they do what they could? Yes all volunteers, I think they did a pretty damn good job. There was like literally puddles on this thing earlier today. So they really worked hard and we appreciate all the volunteers doing what they do. Let's, let's go get her done in some dirt drags. Update, the driver's moving around. They're trying to get all that fixed. I'm not sure what they're going to do. Obviously, uh, no one wants to see that going down the track. Um, so we'll see what Riley uh, and his crew want to do. Right now, we're just hanging tight, uh, letting the ambulance get here and everything. But like I said, he's moving around. You know, by the time you guys see this video, obviously, you'll know he's okay. But very unfortunate. And uh, we'll see what they make of it. Uh, as a competitor, I trust that they're going to make the right call and uh, either shorten it or add some more safety or whatever because obviously none of us want to wrap our trucks around trees or concrete or flip them so we'll see First round, we lost to TJ Frey, just playing out Ram. We're gonna leap harder, and uh, I think we'll turn on some nitrous and see if that'll help. All right, guys, 
we left a lot harder, had to pedal it, but we got through our first round win. Second, so we have one loss, but we've moved on to the next bracket, so that's good. Uh, we just gotta stick with it, and hopefully we can bring it home. Being down one loss really sucks, but it is what it is. We're gonna make the best of it, and at the end of the day, like I always say, I know it might get corny, I just want everyone to be safe and have a good time. Well, unfortunately, guys, that's the way the cookie crumbles. We lost to Christian Wickman, and I hope he wins the whole thing. But uh, it is what it is. I mean, we just, I think next year, if we come, we'll bring the boggers. I think that's what we need. It just, all it does is spin. So uh, congratulations to him. I hope uh, he wins it all, and I hope everyone just keeps being safe. We'll try to get you some footage, but I do want to get packed up before it gets too dark. Since Denny had one loss and the second gen did not, I believe his name's Dakota, they have to rerun. Again, we're, if Denny wins, we come in fifth overall. If he wins, we come in sixth. If you can't tell, we are home. We're gonna start unpacking here a little bit. Uh, just around 16 hours, so long, long, long drive. But now we have the wonderful job of cleaning this mess up. Um, 
Huge congratulations to Austin Denny for first place, Nathan Banstra for second place, Cody Lambert for third place, uh, and then the Rock Diesel. Um, man, had your name, forgot your name. Sorry, but that triple turbo Duramax came in fourth, and then we tied uh, with, I believe his name was Dakota, uh, for fifth place. So, obviously, not how we wanted. Of course, we wanted to win, but it was awesome to watch. Uh, one, two, three. I mean, basically, the top three guys took all the took all the payouts and brought it back to their respective states. So, um, that's always nice, but... Uh, I don't know where to go from here. I appreciate Riley and all the volunteers that put on the event, dealt with the weather, dealt with the complaining and all that stuff. Uh, I do appreciate that, especially because it's all volunteer. Um, that's pretty awesome. And uh, hopefully uh, that event continues to grow and grow and grow. Uh, and for, again, for the weather, the turnout was awesome. The food was good. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate all of those guys for that the rollover on the pro mod that the last i heard the guy got med flighted out for a spine issue but the last i heard he was stable that is all i know from uh like this point moving forward um as far as the truck obviously not very strong uh performance on the dirt drag uh, i think at the end of the day if we end up going back to this event it's just got to be a lot wider um most of the trucks there, uh, because the rules, there really aren't too many rules. So I would say we need, just to get to like Cody Lambert's truck, we got to pull 1,300 pounds out of my truck. Um, and then I think boggers are a must. Because at the end of the day, we can put all the power we want to in it. But if, if it doesn't go anywhere, it's pointless. So I think instead of like, launching forward on the mud we were just digging in so we left soft at first got absolutely outran because it left under the chargers and then i tried leaving hard and it would just kind of sit still and then finally go um so again i mean it is what it is that was the truck we bought and uh we made the best of it uh dyno though went pretty good i was really happy on how clean that was and uh, I'm, I'm happy with the numbers, 250% uh, overs, making 1600 horsepower-ish on a single 14 mil pump with negative correction factor. That's about as good as you can get. The uh, injectors were obviously stretched very far, but went in first place on the dyno was really cool. Um, took them a little bit of the, we tied for fifth, so they took the fifth and sixth combine it together and split it in half i think is how they ended up coming up with it but <clears throat> at the end of the day it, it is what it is so uh as far as events for the rest of the year we pretty much have kos we got to go through the trans on this and get it ready for kos we got to put like move the nitrous around throw some seats in it clean uh pull the trans go through that put it all back together and then we should be ready to go um i'm happy with all the testing we did and at kos the dirt dragging we always do decent like last year i went out in the quarterfinals the year before that i won i'm usually like top three qualifier that's why i think like all those trucks we all have to weigh at least six thousand pounds and we have to dirt drag on dot tires so that's kind of where i'm thinking that's where we're falling short is the truck's real heavy and we're doing it on like mud graphs and sts's and a lot of the guys that seem to be getting off the line a lot better had like boggers, stuff like that. So I think there's some science to that. But again, we had fun, came home, uh, and KOS is our next event. Uh, as far as this event next year, not really sure. Um, no one's fault but my own, but driving 32 hours round trip, uh, that's, a, that's a lot. So we'll see. Uh, who knows? Maybe next year I'll... I'll be like ready to go. But uh, anyway, congratulations to the winners. Um, and again, thank you to Riley and all the volunteers for putting on a good event. Hopefully you guys like this one. Drop your comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. And as always, I'll catch y'all on the next one.